working both that custom uncensored we're wet sanded now we're going to start off with 320 and then wet sand uh, 400 uh, most body shops just do dry sanding strictly for the uh the time uh, when i have a, a semi-hard block a wet sanding block it's kind of stiff but it's kind of smushy uh, start off with that with 320 and this right here is basically the same I, you, you sand and block all the same way in cross sections like this and we don't want to break through now and we're mainly just knocking the what little bit of orange peel or whatever texture the, the primer put on there. Mainly that's all we're doing is just knocking it off and making it smooth. The panel should be straight by now. I don't know if you can see it, but sand a little more up here and then I'll show you the difference right there. Get it pretty close right here. to see the difference but you can see right here this is pretty pretty slick you don't see any texture or anything you come over here and see you can see the, the texture right there still there difference in that and that i need to get it all looking like that and then we'll hit it with the 400 and uh should be ready for paint just a little more edges right here you want it to feather in you'll sand all the paint or primer off of where it wasn't sanded previously and I'll show you where when I get this down I'll show you where that's going to be at you'll be able to tell the difference where the primer looks and the paint looks Always move around, don't stay in the same spot. Right here still needs to come back, <clears throat> come back a little more. See that right there? Not really. Well, you see that line? Right there where the paper was. Nice and slick right there. <clears throat> We're starting to get right here to where it's where the paint was sanding.
I'm crossing it up. You look at that right there, that right there. Smooth, it's all feathered in. That should be good right there. So we're gonna we're gonna start on the top right here and work down and we'll go over that body line again. And this block being soft, it'll go on that that curve right there. And won't leave a mark. Same principle right here. You want all the a little bit of texture that the primer left. You want it gone. So a little bit right there. A little bit right there. You can feel it with your hand. You can tell the difference in this right here and this. You can definitely feel it. Pretty much all body works about being able to feel. If you can feel it, you can see it. And uh, sometimes you can feel it and can't see it. So you got to put your hands on what you're working on. And uh, that's the way you find out if it's straight or not, putting your hands on it. Constantly rubbing it. Because once you go down too far, you're, you're too far in, and you got to redo that step. Still feels, feels pretty good. Love it right here. up here real quick. Feels pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna hit this, hit the body line with the 320. Gotta hit this right here. That right there, you'll definitely see that. Swap it up. Sandpaper feels like it's starting to get a little, a little used, a little worn. It's not cutting as quick. I know we're about done with it. Put this body line.
There's nothing to, nothing to high spots off the bondo on that. papers and put wet sanding paper on real quick. You won't make a mistake with, a, with wet sanding paper. And this thing, it, it, it's just right on that, just like that. Put a little water on it. Of course, we do the same, same process on this. And this right here, just getting those 320 scratches out. Making it a little, little bit slicker. And then we'll go over all of it with a Scotch pad. And get everything else ready for the clear and the paint. See how it's taking it away right there. You can see how slick that right there is. It's real, real slick. Y'all better put your hand on that and should not feel anything. That right there is looking pretty good. So we'll come up here. This. Cut my thing, my paper up. You see, you watch them sand marks right there. That's the 400 right there. Hit it with, I mean, 320. Hit it with that 400 and they just disappeared. And the water's for the for the paper to keep from clogging up. You had 400 and, and finer. Uh, the water helps. Uh, they have paper now that it is made to dry sand. We have DA paper that has 1200. When I first started, you would have never thought you could have sanded with 1200 and not had water on it. But now you can do that which is good. It makes the process a whole lot quicker because uh, most body shops, once they get to here, this step right here, they don't do. They'll stop at 320. Uh, and that'll be as far as they go with it. But most shops, they mainly do collision. And uh, collision is all about getting it in and out as quick as possible and making it look as good as possible. And uh, that right there is the top part. I'm hit this bottom again. Put some wet. You'll be able to see those marks right there. So those are 320 right there. And that'll disappear when you put this 400 on it. And that's the difference in the, you know, the paint being slick. It makes a difference. And look at that. 320 scratches. And there and there, they're gone. Definitely makes a difference on the paint. The slicker you get it before you paint it, the slicker the paint job is going to be. Well, the, the better chance it has to be a slick anyway. You still have to spray it right. And this right here doesn't take long once you do it with the three, 320. Uh, the majority of it's already gone. You're mainly getting the 320 scratches out. And they're not real big, so it doesn't take a whole lot to do that. And this right here, I do go side to side, straight across, all that. It really just changes it up depending on where you're at on the panel. And 
I'm almost out of water. I've knocked it over and spilt most of it. Hopefully I have enough to get done. We're just about done with it. Get this little corner right here and hit that, that body line again. And this will be good. Be ready to continue ready. Paint is not quite ready to paint. We gotta get the door next to it broke down and sanded and the rest of this door sanded. Okay. Okay, and that right there. That's how you wet sand. Like, subscribe, share. Definitely want your comments. If you know anything else that I'm not doing or got some tips, please let us know. Thank you. Have a good day.